Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review plus tutorial on this Ace Beauty Scarlet Dusk palette. I got this palette in this month January BoxyCharm box. So this is how the outer packaging looks. It looks so stunning and on the inside and this is how the inside looks. It's a beautiful warm eyeshadow palette the colors are so beautiful it has orange pinks browns so totally it's a pretty warm eyeshadow palette and, and also it comes with a mirror i'm gonna do quick swatches and then let's begin with the tutorial and these are the swatches of matte shadows from this palette it has eight matte shadows and four metallic shadows and these are the swatches of metallic shadows they look so beautiful and it's just one swipe of these and they are really really gorgeous so all right i'm going to start off with uh, priming my eyelids and as always i'm going to use my p louise eyeshadow base i just love this base so much and this is in the shade 03 this just helps the eyeshadows to blend really well um, to stay in place and also just overall to perform really well so i'm going to take just a little bit on my finger this almost feels like a concealer it has coverage since my eyelids are lightly darker than the rest of my skin i always have to prime the eyelids and with a concealer or eyeshadow base something that really covers up and you know even tones the skin and i always use a tapping motion to blend this base and with this eyeshadow base you don't have to set it with powder you can straight away go with the eyeshadows if you do not have this base do not worry you can always use a concealer and if your concealer is too tacky make sure you set it with a translucent setting powder and i have already filled my eyebrows i used maybelline ultra brow pencil and i'm going to just set it with the colourpop brow gel this is in the color clear my brows are set let's now dive into the palette um, I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do. Um, first, I'm going to pick up this soft orange shadow called Sunset Rose. I'm going to apply this as my transition shadow. I'm going to use this fluffy, big fluffy blending brush and this is from Morphe E22. I'm going to just apply it all over the lid and also in my crease. I'm applying the shadow in a tapping motion first and then I'm going to slightly blend it in a circular motion. And also I am bringing this shadow towards my brow bone. And for today's look, I am going to focus on orange, red and brown shadows. And I will be doing a separate video using these pink shadows in my future videos. Now I am going to apply this brick brown shadow and this is in the shade Shade. The shade name is Shade. I am going to use Elf blending brush. I am going to place this color on the outer and inner part of my eyelid. I am planning to do a halo eye today. And with the matte shadows, always tap off the excess. These are actually super pigmented, so always go light handed. Once I have placed the color, I'm going to blend it lightly using a circular motion. And next, I'm going back in with the transition shadow the light orange shadow and i'm going to just buff and blend this in my crease and now i'm going to dip into this shadow called nocturnal i'm going to use morphe 222 brush i'm going to place this color on the outer and inner part just to add a little more depth i'm going to lightly blend it out with the same brush And now I'm going back in with the shadow that we placed earlier on the outer and inner part and I'm going to apply this on top of the shadow that we placed just now and I'm going to blend the two together. And so far these shadows are blending really well. They are really pigmented so you would have to go little by little. Then I'm going to use this red orange shadow called Crimson. I'm going to use this brush called Morphe. M507 it's a beautiful blending brush I'm going to place this shadow exactly on the center of my crease connecting the two shadows so far I'm really liking these shadows they are 
blending so really well and look at that pigmentation you guys i'm only taking just a little bit and now i'm going back in with the transition shadow i'm going to just blend out the edges and now i'm going to apply this pillow's eyeshadow base and this is in the shade one just on the center of my eyelid since we are going for hello eye look i just want to place this one before going with eyeshadow so that the eyeshadow that we use later going to pop really well now i'm going back in with the shade called shade and i'm going to just blend this on the outer part one more time apply this orange metallic shadow called hibiscus it looks so beautiful and there is definitely a slight follow to with this metallic shadow and i have not applied any spray or anything and now i'm going to apply this metallic shadow called aruba on the center of my eyelid and i feel the metallic shadows perform really well with this palette if you apply it with finger then brushes i'm going back in with these two shadows and now i'm going to pop on these kiss lashes and these lashes are in the style 01 they are very comfortable and and they almost look like natural with added volume to the lashes and for my waterline i'm going to use covergirl exhibitionist eyeliner and this is in the shade black okay now i'm going to run this along my lower lash line pencil brush from sigma it is e30 now I'm going to apply this shade called shade close to my waterline. Small shader brush from Morphe it is M508. I'm going to just pop this very close to my waterline. I'm going to pick up this crimson shadow using Morphe M507 brush. Now I'm going to apply Smashbox Super Femme Mascara on my lower lashes. Now I'm going to apply the shade Aruba to highlight my inner corners and brow bone. Alright, this is the finished look you guys. I really like how it turned out and all the shadows that I used today are so pigmented. You don't need a lot at all. Keep in mind you always have to tap off the excess but with metallic shadows there is a slight fallout but you can always use a setting spray uh, you know just to avoid the fallout and, uh, and the metallic shadows perform really well if you apply it with fingers rather than the brushes. And although these shadows are pigmented they blended really well and I didn't have to put too much effort to blend these shadows out overall i really really like this palette and this palette retails for 34 dollars 99 cents uh, if you buy separately and again as i said i got this in my boxy charm box this month and i really hope you guys enjoyed this style of tutorial and do let me know with which palette you would like to see a tutorial and thank you all so much for your love and support please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next one bye